All right, good afternoon, Miniman. This is 10-8 uh, uh, rehearsal here judging you ensemble visual, which is all the things you see in front of you. Now that we have our prop corrected, let's get you on the field. Go ahead, ahead Wings. All right, so just looking at our environment here, looks like we got pit across the field here. We've got a very nice train mural, beautifully done. I have to get the name of that artist because I'll definitely be seeing them in the future. Wins, please, please go. Go! go! <laughs> and guard members, let's make sure that we have our body posture up to the box here. Smiling up to the box, presenting. And I, okay, so as we're just getting set here, we can see some people with their hands up on their hips, like the trumpet player in the back. So let's make sure that we're consistent about that. Drum major, is your, your band, band ready? ready. Okay, nice coordination there. Here we go, looking forward to your program today. Nice strong salute, good job drum major. All right, let's get it started. Got some body work here at the beginning, individual responsibility. Make sure these are nice and smooth movements that match well with the music and that everybody is equally committed. Um, our lead trumpet player here in the front uh, looks like wasn't quite committed to one of those moves. Okay, so we've got some body work going on here, but it's not very well defined, so let's really clean that up, make sure everybody knows exactly what choreography they're doing and when. Okay, and then here with the horns up. So are we coming all the way up to playing position? Are we horns down? Um, let's just make sure across instrument to instrument that's consistent. So example, we have alto and alto, two different carry styles through this section. Might be some spacing issues here. I see um, some close gaps here, and then we've got some spacing here and here. Um, so let's just check that out, make sure that's nice and consistent. Okay, good direction change here, well-defined. Uh, having a little bit of trouble reading the form from up here though, not sure what shape you're trying to make through this section. So let's maybe clean that up, rep that, uh, those charts a few times just to get those, uh, that form reading from up here in the box. Coming forward for an impact. Nice. Okay. Okay, good individual responsibility here in the brass. Make sure we're committed all the way over tuba player. Make sure we get that, uh, that lean going on. And tuba, you can actually cheat by just moving your bell. You don't even have to lean that far. Okay, good form for uh, here, reading well from up here in the box. I can tell it's supposed to be a big triangle. Um, front point of the triangle, maybe come like one step forward, um, just to make sure I that's clear. A little bit of a stubby triangle here. Okay, good, uh, good step offs overall here, Minutemen. Um, you're doing a nice job of uh, knowing when you're supposed to direction change, when you're supposed to step off and stop. Um, so you're showing me that you've been taught that. Good job. All right, so looking at feet at hold here in the brass, we've got our trombone player feet apart and everyone else's feet together, toes apart. So let's play that up.
Okay, so as we're um, coming through on this slow move here um, in the brass, let's just define what where our horn is supposed to be pointing. Because I've got a trombone pointed out toward the end zone, and then everyone else is facing me. So again, that just has to be defined in the same um, across the board. Oh, okay, so same thing here. We got to make sure that direction change there um, is very clean, and we know exactly when we're stopping and stepping off. Um, woodwinds, as we came into this chart here, um, just defining where that musical phrase actually ends um, musically and then matching that visually. So um, you guys were here probably five or six counts early. Uh, didn't love to see that. Do appreciate the solo up here at the front. So let's maybe consider coming a little bit further in toward the floor. Brass coming across in double time. Uh, most of you are in double time, one of you is not. So let's clean that up. Okay, as we're marching back here, what I'm seeing is a lot of bouncing heads. Um, so let's maybe make sure that that marching technique is nice and clean. Coming into company front here. So again, visual phrase here is not quite consistent. We've got all of our woodwind players here in the middle frozen while everyone on the outsides are still moving. I don't think that was how that was designed. So we got to make sure that that's nice and clean. Coming into an arcs here. Coordination of elements here coming across the field and uh, counter motion. Um, good visual appeal there. Again, visual phrasing here in the low brass. You guys have to arrive at that chart right on time, not four beats early. So just make sure that gets cleaned up and consistent. spin wheels um, did a pretty good job of staying in straight lines I know those are tough but um, overall pretty good woodwinds over here maybe clean those up a little bit uh, and yeah as you're coming across your woodwinds we got to be in step and make sure that we're uh, marching clean across the field there you can't do that kind of shuffle step where you're taking multiple steps per beat um, you really got to make sure that that's clean uh, enjoyed your performance good luck at your competition